Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the five ways that you need to focus and things that you need to focus on in order to have more energy. Why would we want to do this? Well, because if you really think about energy, everything in this entire universe is energy. So if you see water or you see my hand, all of them, everything that you can see, that you perceive, that you can not perceive, it is all different vibrating masses. And so liquid just happens to be vibrating a lot faster than my desk that I'm st standing at right now is. And so when you start to think about the world being an energy, then I actually think that one of the most important things that we can pay attention to every single day is our energy. If you think about the fact that we all have 24 hours every single day, what really changes what we're going to get done or not get done is how much energy we bring to every single day. And so if we can just have more energy, then we're going to get more done. And so, you know, I'm going to talk about some things you probably heard of before. I'm going to talk about some things that maybe you might not have thought of before. I'm not going to talk about sleep because everyone knows, yeah, you should probably get some damn sleep. That makes sense. But I'm going to talk about things that give you energy and also drain energy from you as well. So let's dive into it. First thing that I listen to and the thing that gives me a ton of energy and what I always like to use as a tool to give me more energy is music. What is the music that you listen to throughout the day? You know, when I go and I meditate, the first thing I do every single morning, besides going to the bathroom and brush my teeth and all that stuff, is my wife and I, we go out into the living room, we turn on YouTube on the TV, and we put on 20 minute meditation music and we meditate. And it's very chill music, right? But then what I do after that is usually I'll go and I'll make some coffee. And what I've realized is that if I keep meditation music on, when it goes from one YouTube video, it automatically goes to the next one. It's always chill. If I was just listening to meditation music, it's going to be more meditation music after. And I'll drink my coffee and I'll sit there and the music will still be on. And I'll notice that if it's chill meditation music, I'm very chill. But if I need to go and work out in 30 minutes, I'm not going to listen to chill meditation music before my workout. That's when I usually switch it to something like EDM. And what I realize if I put on EDM or trance or rap or whatever it is that I want to listen to, that music is actually going to give me a certain type of energy. What is music? Music is literally sounds. What are sounds and words? Vibration. Sound is vibration. And vibration changes your frequency. <clears throat> Sound is vibration. Vibration changes your frequency. Words are affirmations, what you say and you think you become. And so when you think about that, you think, okay, there's a lot of vibration that's coming through when I listen to music. The words are affirmations that I'm saying out loud. Are they the type of things I want to be saying to myself? Because those things influence what I think and what I say. And so for me, the past year and a half-ish, I've started changing the music that I listen to because I start thinking to myself, how is this music right now influencing my mood, influencing my energy, and the things that are being said in this song that I'm listening to, is this the type of stuff I actually would say to someone that I love? Are these the type of things I want to say to myself? And so the music that you listen to has a very big uh, shift in the energy. It causes a very big, very big shift in the energy that you have and you bring to every single day. So just start thinking about more music that you listen to. You know, if you're at an office and they got freaking, you know, whatever it is, jazz music, that's slow elevator music that's playing in the background and that's not giving you energy, but you want some freaking energy because you're about to go into cranking out a presentation. Well, then maybe put some headphones on, blast some music that you love and have that be something that changes your energy. You know, if you haven't, if you don't feel really good today, maybe you had kind of a shitty morning. Why don't you put on some music that makes you feel happy? Music has a way of shifting our energy. That's one of the first things I think about when I need to shift my energy is music. Next thing that I think about, number two, is the people that you spend time with. I always say, one of my mentors told me this years ago, every person that you surround yourself with is either a battery or they're a black hole. A battery is somebody who gives you energy. You could spend two hours with them. After you leave their house, you feel energized, you feel amazing, you feel fired up about life. It's a full fuck yes for that person. This person's awesome, they make me feel great. There are also some people in your life that are black holes. It's just like they suck the energy out of you. 
you could go and spend seven minutes with them and you're like, oh God. And you just feel like you don't have a whole lot of energy. You have to realize being a human, this vibrating structure, this frequency that you are, is that you are also feeling other people's vibrations as well. Have you ever met somebody and the first time you meet them, you're like, damn, I don't know what it is about that person, but like there's something. You ever met somebody like that? Person's awesome. But have you also ever met somebody where you're like, there's nothing that's actually wrong that is said or that you can see, but like your body is just sensing like, yeah, something's not right about that. Like something's doesn't feel right. You can't perceive it. You can't see it. You can't hear it. None of that, but it just doesn't feel right. That's your body picking up on the other person. There's something that's not lining up with yours. And so it's really important to take a step back and actually start to think about the people that you spend time with. You know, if you work in an office, there might be some people that mm, they're kind of like black holes. How can you try to avoid them more? How can you set up some more boundaries? Because I know a lot of people are bad boundaries. How can you set up boundaries so that person can't really come and invade your space? What is it that you can do? Everything can be figured out with a plan. Maybe you just haven't come up with a plan of exactly how to avoid that person as much as possible. So start to think about the people that you surround yourself with. Even if they don't offend the senses, we always say like they don't look bad, they don't smell bad, they don't talk bad, but there's just something that's that's off about them. Is it possible for you to spend less time with them? And so really start to pay, pay attention to people who give you energy and steal energy from you. If you want more energy throughout the day, how can you spend more time with people who give you energy? Okay, next one, number three. Start to think about the information that you consume. You're listening to this podcast, great, I love it. But also pay attention to everything else outside of this, right? Do you ever feel like, oh man, it's three o'clock and I'm just so exhausted today. And you're like, why am I so exhausted? Like, I didn't do a whole lot. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of things that really I was, it's not like I went on a run. I didn't do a whole crazy workout, any of that type of stuff. And then you start to think about like, what type of information have I been consuming today? And you realize that maybe you've been around people who have been talking really negatively, or maybe you've had, you've been in a room where the news is on in the background. You're still perceiving that even if you're not directly paying attention to it, but start thinking about the information that you consume. One of the biggest things that happened to me about a year, year and a half ago, is that I realized that even the people I follow on Instagram make a massive shift in the energy that I have throughout the day. And this was during, you know, all of the crazy stuff that was happening a couple of years ago. I noticed that I was following some people that were, you know, on the left side and the right side, friends that I had for years, people that I actually know in person. And I would see their stories and after their stories, I would feel like shit right after. And I was like, man, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I haven't really done anything. I just had my cup of coffee. I haven't got my workout in yet. Like, why do I feel so drained? And I realized that some of the people that I actually know in person were just terrible to follow on Instagram. And I realized that the energy that you consume, whether you realize or not, is changing the way that you feel throughout the day. And so you may have somebody that you need to start unfollowing. I like to call it the great purge. Go through your Instagram, go through your Facebook, whatever you need to do. Uh, about a year ago, I unfriended 3,000 people on Facebook because I was like, I don't really know these people anymore. Like I might've met them one time 16 years ago, but I started unfriending all of these people and I realized that I started to create the actual information that I makes me feel better. And on Instagram, I went on there and I unfriended like, or unfollowed like three or 400 people and pages and all of this stuff. Cause I thought to myself, if I'm gonna be consuming information throughout the day, I really wanna be in charge of making sure that I'm consuming information that is helping me get better, that's helping me improve, that's motivating me to create the life that I want to. And so I stopped following people who I know in real life and people who might be political figures and all this stuff. And I was like, I'm going to curate the information that I want to see that is going to help me become better. And so you've got to be real careful with the information you consume. Most people know, I mean, I hope that you know that the news is really messing with people. So that's not thing that I'm really going to dive into and talk about, but I don't watch the news. I don't watch any of those things. I don't let outside influences come into my brain as much as possible. And so start paying attention to all of the information that you consume in your brain. Number four is another thing that you consume, the food that you eat. 
obviously this one should be super important to everybody that's out there. But for me, you know, like everybody has different diets. Everybody has different things that make them feel better. You know, you can have whole 30, you can have vegans, you can have carnivore diets, you can have all these different diets. The one thing that I have found that works best for me and your body's different than mine, your body's different than everybody else that's listening to this podcast is find what gives you the most energy. There are things that I know that throughout the day, if I eat it, it's going to make me have a little bit spike of energy and then drop like sugar. 100% will do that. Carbs will absolutely do that. My thing is if it wasn't once alive, I don't eat it, whether that be a plant or whether it be an animal. If it wasn't once alive, I don't eat it because I don't want something that was manufactured by somebody else. Because usually when it's manufactured by somebody else, they're trying to get profit. When they're trying to get profit, that means they're cheaping on it. And that means that I'm probably consuming a whole bunch of crap. Tons of crappy seed oils. There's almost seed oils in everything that you could have. And that leads to heart disease. So I don't want that. So the way that I think about it is, okay, I'm going to, if, if it wasn't once alive, like really physically alive and not changed, I'm not going to eat it. Plants, animals, that's it nothing else. Now, there's certain things that I could eat in the morning that could take energy away from me. And there's certain things I get in the middle of the day that give me energy. So I start paying attention and planning my day out and planning the food that I eat based off of how I want to feel each day and how I need to get the certain amount of calories, a certain amount of protein, all that stuff as well. And so just start to pay more attention to the food that you eat. Food can either give you energy or it can steal energy from you. And for some of you guys, digestion for everybody, digestion is the most important thing that you do because it is the most energy consuming thing that your body does. So for some of you listening to this, fasting might actually give you a lot more energy. And so maybe you start trying some fasting. Maybe don't eat until two o'clock and see if that gives you more energy. For me, I know I eat breakfast. I usually have the exact same thing every single morning for breakfast. And then I usually don't eat until about four o'clock because I know that if I fast in between there, I usually feel the best. I usually get the most done. I'm usually, my brain is cranking and that's what I care about is my brain cranking so I can get as much done and have as much energy as possible. And so you have to pay attention to the food that you eat. So what works for you is what works for you. I don't care about anybody else's diet. I care about what's going to give you in your body the most energy. That's number four. And number five, the fifth tip that I can give you to have as much energy as possible is to don't, re don't rely on the way that you feel. Don't rely on the way that you feel. Don't decide, okay, if I feel motivated, then I'm going to go to the gym. If I feel like I have enough energy, then I'm going to do this. What I mean by this is force movement. Make yourself do what you said you were going to do. If you're the type of person that is hoping that you have enough motivation to go to the gym or hoping that you have enough motivation in order to get your project done that you need to do for work, you're going to be hoping and waiting for a long time. What I care about is being the most consistent person in the room, not being the most motivated person in the room. And so how can you make yourself do what needs to be done? Because if you're waiting for motivation, you're going to be waiting for a long time. The interesting thing about motivation, psychologists have done many studies on this and find that motivation, if you're waiting for it to come before action, you're going to be waiting for a long time. Motivation usually doesn't come before action. Motivation usually follows action. And so if you want to be motivated, the best way to be motivated is to get your ass moving. Even when you don't feel like moving, even when you didn't have a great morning, whatever it is. So if you want to give yourself a chance to be motivated, you have to get in action. You have to start moving. And what happens is as you start moving, your heart rate goes up, your energy starts to change, you start to get endorphins. You start to get more motivated and more motivated and more motivated, all because you decided to take action no matter how you felt. Motivation follows action, not the other way around. And so those are the five tips to have more energy and get more done. Make sure you pay attention to the music that you listen to. Make sure you pay attention to the people that you're spending time with. Make sure you pay attention to the information that you consume and that's going into your brain. Make sure you pay attention to the food that you eat. And next one, last one, make sure that you force yourself to take action in order to give yourself a chance to be motivated. So that's what I got for you for today's lesson, for today's podcast. If you love this podcast, please do me a favor, share it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it. Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.